Welcome to the uh, demo of uh, Rigat, the uh, Rockwell to Coatsys conversion software made by Northern Dynamics. Um, my name is Paul DeJong and um, I'm going to demo the, um, the software for you. So I'm going to go and launch it. In this case we're actually doing control logics, so control logics based. But I'm going to launch the software here and as you can see uh, there is the actual software interface. Um, the, all you have to do is pick the project file and or and then pick the version of CodeSys you want uh, and hit convert and it'll uh, launch CodeSys and convert this for you. On top of it down the left hand side we have the update button which uh, when you open the software if there is a uh, update to the software a new version you're, you can at that time say yes to the update or if you say no you can come back at a later time hit this update button and it'll update it for you. During licensing, if you purchase a, a license from us, you'll request a license and we'll send you back a license file and you'll install that license. Um, we have a help function and a quit. So let's go ahead and do this. We're going to be doing a control logics file. As you can see, I'm going to go out and I'm going to select uh, our demo control logics file. And then, of course, we're going to use Service Pack 20 as our, as our um, CodeSys version. It will save a report to the desktop, uh, a text file, and uh, if there's any blocks that it hasn't converted. In the control logics world, we do not convert uh, the message instruction or the GSV, GSV, SSV. We find the GSV, SSV is very particular to the hardware, and we would have to know what hardware you are using to be able to do that. So the message instruction itself is, is a communications instruction and you would have uh, different ways within CodeSys to do communications. So as you can see it's launching CodeSys and uh, a couple menus that pop up as you go but bottom line is it'll go and, and, and open CodeSys. It'll add the Northern Dynamics library. You'll see that happen down at the bottom here. In this case it's going to add the Control Logics library. So it's added the Northern Dynamics library and then on the left hand side it's gone ahead and um, it's gone ahead and converted the program. Um, yeah, so then from there, it's going to ask you if you want to go to the newest version uh, uh, in, uh, in, in CodeSys, and I'm going to say yes to that, and, um, and then we're good to go. There's the project. Now, uh, as I mentioned in the Slick video, uh, we have um, converted, we've tried this on a very large project. As a matter of fact, the biggest processor in the Rockwell family is an L85 with the most memory. We we took a project that basically maxed out uh, an L85 and uh, ran it through the converter, and in about uh, two to three minutes, it converted it. So it's pretty quick, as as you as you saw there. So anyways, what, what do we see? It will convert the AOIs for you. As you can see, there's logic that's created based on the AOI. And then, of course, those AOIs are used down below in your, in your project, just like functions in, in CodeSys and Siemens. Uh, of course, we're doing, uh, we do ladder logic. So you can see it's, it's giving you ladder logic, and there's logic in the, in the AOI, ladder logic in the main area. And of course, the AOIs are even ladder logic as well. So what we do is we transfer in kind. If your software, if your application code has ladder logic, we'll give you ladder logic. If it has structured text, we'll give you structured text. If it's function block, we'll try to give you some function block. So, so we've got our library of, of, of uh, instructions covers all those languages in the in the control logics world. You'll notice that it did actually convert here. The structured text, we have an example of structured text here in this sample. So we have AOIs. We actually have two program groups and separate tasks. So task one and task two. So we actually have multiple tasks we've created. So it'll even do that uh, multitasking like we see in, in Rockwell. So um, pulling down the variables, you'll notice that in, in Rockwell, you could there's two areas where you can have uh, tags they call them you have them in the program header uh, local to the program group or you can have them in the controller tag area which is what we've recreated here as a GVL and notice it's a retained uh, to, to retain those variables as well so then from there uh, we've created data types we will recreate the data types and you can see it's actually done that we just I've just given an example of a data type called date and time a UDT in Rockwell. It creates that structured DUT in CodeSys. 
And then, of course, we add a couple of things just for um, um, extras. So we've given, given you a stru structured uh, time structure uh, and then also uh, our first scan bit. All right, so that's the conversion. It basically converted the software for you. Uh, um, yeah, uh, thank you for, for watching this video and um, hope to hear from you. Thanks, bye.